What is work for if my AMD Ryzen 5 is working a whole day? Hello to everyone, today we're gonna talk about a Raptorium coin. What the Raptorium is, we'll spend another independent episode to talk about this project. Because today I'm gonna show you how to start your adventure with Raptorium mining and storing. Of course, instead of storing your coins at desktop wallets or web wallets, you can just store your coins at exchanges, on such as Trading Org or South Exchange. But is it safe? I don't think so. This these are currently all of available exchanges that you can storing your coins at. One of the known Raptorium wallet that you can download and use is a desktop Raptorium core wallet. I like this one, but very often this wallet makes me angry because of its muddy condition that I really hate. Very often it is just muddy and annoying because I often don't have time to wait that long until it turns on and synchronizes. Therefore, in my opinion, it is worth to have an alternative wallet from the Raptorium developers because their current wallet is too muddy for me. Another one is Zilcor. I like this one and I think it's the better one than a desktop Raptorium core wallet. And I can confidently recommend it to anyone who is looking for any wallet. A lot of different coins which you can store and feel safe. Zilcor is good, no worries, no problems, really recommended it. And the Zilcor's mobile application is huge advantage. But my number one is a Chia Leaf wallet that you can store only Raptorium because this wallet now is only for Raptorium coins. Feel safe, no worries, no problems on this wallet as well. Because I use this wallet, I will focus on creating my own wallet over here and we today focus our work on it. As you can see, the wallet has two-factor authentication, in short 2FA. It's a security system that keeps your wallet safe from hackers. Until you keep your mobile phone safely from others, your wallet will be really safe. Google Authenticator keeps your wallets safe even if your enemy knows password and he doesn't have access to your mobile phone and your Google Authentication code. Okay, here we are, we are logging in into our wallet now, and now, quick tutorial on how this wallet really works, and what we should to know if we want to make it useful. Okay, on the right you can see the recipe addresses, you can make another one, clicking on create new, suddenly you've made your recipe address. They will be useful because if you want to set up your miner, you need to copy one of them and paste into your miner. Then your miner will work on your new wallet. Let me to make a transaction to make you understand how it works. I want to send my coins from my old wallet, Raptor in Core, to my new wallet on Chia. Let me to show you how to do that. Just copy one of your resume addresses from the Chia wallet and paste it on an old one. And that's it! Your coins have just been sent. Of course you have to be patient because your transaction needs time to be finished. Sometimes 5 minutes you wait for your coins, sometimes 2 minutes. It depends on the network, but it doesn't take too long. As you can see below, my transaction is in the queue for execution. And as I said before, your coins are sending your wallet 5 minutes and there we are here. Just another couple of minutes and here we are, coins are on my wallet and now I'm jubilant because now I can spend my millions of coins on what I really love. Now I'm gonna show you how to send money from Chia World to another one because I know that many people know how it works but there are people who really don't know how it works so I just want to say it all step by step because of them. Just copy a wallet address you want to send your coins from Chia Wallet and copy in and paste here and set the amount of how Raptorium coins you want to send and click the send crypto button and that's it, your coins have been sent. As you can see at the bottom right corner, my old wallet is informing me that the transaction is done. Okay, on the bottom you can see in the last 10 transactions, our transaction. Now, the crucial thing is security. Many people do not realize how important this element is. You can mine, you can buy your coins, but without security, you can lose everything you have. Here you can change your old password on new one. Of course, you have to enter your old password before your new password will be set. 
Now, we want to generate our 2FA code from Google Security. Firstly, download on your mobile phone Google Authenticator and install it. After it, click Get 2FA code on the Chia Wallet. Run now your Google Authenticator and on the bottom right corner, use the cross to connect Google Security with your Wallet. When it's done, just enter your code to connect each other. That's it! Make a backup of your Wallet QR code and password wherever you like, hard drive, pen drive or just in your private Telegram group. Now, feel safe! Okay, it's time to download and Rapturium Miner. Just open your browser and go to the official Rapturium website and just click download and click one more time on CPU Miner. Okay, we are on the GitHub and now we have to download the newest version of Miner. Here you gotta choose what Miner you want. Depends what kind of system you have. In my case, Windows 10, so I choose this one. Now, when my mother is unzipped and ready to go, we have to choose what miner we should to use. Depends on what CPU we have. If you have Ryzen, use Zen. If Intel, use FOX or others. If you have a problem with miners, just comment it in the comment section below and we will try to fix it or just join to our Telegram group where support is online a whole day. Now, just PPM add your miner and click edit. Here you gotta set your pool. In my case, it's a Chia pool. Wallet and worker name after that. Your miner is ready to work. Run your miner as an administrator. In my case, my miner have completed tuning process. Every CPU when starts its work needs a tuning process. It takes maybe one, maybe two hours, but it will do the miner by itself. You can see the tune config as a red and huge pages as well. If tune config is red, just wait. I said before the tuning process that your miner needs to be finished and ready to go on 100%. Okay, so what if huge pages are red? Just follow my moves. I just try to understand the world's flames Wasted tears, things like peace With me up with that stove Fuck the sky, people die Fuck the spring And I just try to understand the world's flames Wasted tears, things like peace With me up with that shit over